Tableau 2020.2 is here with significant enhancements to support your analytics journey and elevate your relationship with data. Find relationships between database tables for more flexible, intuitive analysis with the addition of relationships to Tableau's data model. Monitor key performance indicators for your business from anywhere with metrics. And dynamically change the members of a set to drive complex analysis with set control. Let's dive into what else is coming in this release. Today we'll cover Visual Analytics, Web and Mobile, IT and Governance, Prep Builder, Data Management Add-on, and Server Management Add-on. We'll begin with Visual Analytics. We're enhancing Tableau's data model with new capabilities to help customers more easily analyze data across multiple tables and different levels of detail without having to learn advanced database concepts or write custom SQL code. Creating relationships between tables makes analyzing stored data in common data warehouse schemas like Star and Snowflakes easy. Tableau will handle multiple levels of detail in a single data source, making it easy to slice and dice data without writing specialized calculations to control level of detail. And since these enhanced data sources can answer a wider variety of questions, organizations will be able to consolidate the number of distinct data sources they create and maintain. In this example, we're connecting to multiple tables all related to sales data. When dragging in the customer's table, you can define the relationship by specifying cardinality and referential integrity between customer ID and the orders table in the customer's table. With these relationships, Tableau will bring in the data at the right level of detail during your analysis. We're expanding Tableau's range of analytical options to power your dashboards and how people interact with them. In 2020.2, you can now perform set analytics with the same ease and familiarity as using a quick filter to drive complex analysis. With the new set control, you can dynamically change the members of a set using quick filter-like interface. Supporting both single and multiple selection, simply click to select or deselect items to control which values are in the set. Behind the scenes, these selections act as inputs that are fed into calculations that drive the visualization. End users now have a straightforward way to leverage the complex calculations that authors have already created to drive their own insights. And since the domain refreshes automatically, the freshest data is always reflected in your dashboard. The viz below describes average housing prices in various outcodes, what we know as postal codes in London. London is built in concentric circles, and houses are more expensive as you get closer to the center of the city. The more expensive the outcode, the more orange the color. Let's select outcodes E4, E5, and E6, located near the edges of London, to belong in our set membership. This means we are averaging the prices together and then comparing that average to the rest of the outcodes. This is why a lot of outcodes suddenly look more red. They're higher in average price compared to the outer edge areas we have selected to be in our set. And we could keep adjusting our set members to see how different groupings compare. This is just one example of how to use set control. Imagine the analysis that's now possible. Set actions just got even more powerful with two new selection modes. You can now incrementally add and remove values from a set by interacting with marks in the view, even after a selection is cleared. You can now connect Tableau directly to your location data in Esri by simply entering an ArcGIS server URL or GeoService API URL. Automated extract refreshes ensure the visualizations are always up to date and enable you to spend less time sourcing data and more time in analysis. We're expanding Tableau's spatial database connections to make solving location-based questions easier than ever. You can now connect to tables in Oracle that contain spatial data and instantly visualize that data in Tableau. Dashboard authors now control which columns are modeled and explained data. With the ability to select which columns are included and excluded from explanations, authors can better curate their analytical experience. Explained data will also now surface multiple extreme values, allowing you to explore more than one outlier at a time. 
You can now create custom suggestions in consistent semantic context with data roles. With customized suggestions, data source owners can provide relevant prompts that give users insight to the data and the types of questions they can ask. Data roles make it easy to add important context to field definitions and synonyms, and apply that information across data sources. Other improvements include support for scripted data sources and improved enterprise controls. Web and Mobile Metrics allow simple metrics to be created from almost any view or dashboard, saving time and effort for our Tableau data stewards. Metrics also allow these key numbers to be easily tracked across any number of dashboards, providing value to those who may not be heavy Tableau users, but do want or need to be informed without having to click through multiple dashboards. Metric support on Tableau Mobile allows all customers to track their data anytime and anywhere they want. View recommendations are now on Tableau Mobile. Get personalized suggestions that instantly connect to your relevant visits on the go. Powered by machine learning, these recommendations leverage users' preferences and surface visits that others with similar viewing habits found interesting and that are popular on your site. With the Home tab, you can find recommendations in a dedicated channel on your Tableau mobile app. You can now connect to and sign in with the Tableau mobile app when Tableau server is configured with OpenID authentication. You can leverage the default browser on your device, Safari on iOS, Chrome on Android, when authenticating and remain logged into the browser. The security exchange between the browser and the mobile app is based on the key components of the OpenID Connect standard called Proof Key for Code Exchange, or the acronym PKCE. Tableau Mobile for Intune is a new app that provides a quick and secure way to view, analyze, and leverage the data that's in your organization on Microsoft's Intune Enterprise Management Platform. The app, compatible with iOS 13, includes a design that is fast and intuitive, an improved search and browsing experience that is consistent with Tableau Server and Tableau Online, as well as enhanced offline capabilities that are quick to load and offer richness and interactivity for visualizations. You can now manually sort your favorited content on Tableau Server and Tableau Online. From the grid view, simply drag and drop your favorites in the order you want to see them bringing your most important content front and center. Sharing your work and exploring insights from others just got easier. You can now open a Tableau workbook or upload it straight to the web without having to use Tableau Desktop. Simply select the workbook, TWB or TWBX, you want to upload and publish directly to your site on Tableau server or online. Only users with the appropriate publishing permissions will have the ability to upload content. IT and Governance Server administrators can now configure multiple analytics extension connections, formerly external service, in Tableau Server. Administrators can set one per site through the settings UI and turn connections on or off at the site level. Now teams using different R, Python, or other external data science environments can share their work with consumers across the same server. Settings are easier than ever to configure with UI controls or via the Server REST API. Webhook Updates You can now enable webhooks at the site level, giving you more fine-grained control across your deployment. REST API Updates You can now programmatically export a workbook as the PowerPoint file, making it easier to operationalize traditional reporting workflows. You can also lock nested projects programmatically. Tableau Prep Builder Connect to Salesforce directly within Tableau Prep Builder and start getting to analysis faster. Whether using Tableau Prep Builder or Conductor, incrementally add fresh data to the flow. This saves time and resources, preventing the need to rerun the entire data set. Data Management Add-on Get a better understanding of all the assets on your server or site. 
from the external assets page, filter by connection types, certifications, or data quality warnings. The Lineage tool is powerful to understanding the relationships between all of the different data assets on your deployment. Now, you can see not only down to the sheet level, but also see dashboards. Data quality warnings make it possible to let users know when a data asset is flagged, whether because the data is under maintenance, it's stale, or for some other reason. With high visibility data quality warnings, not only let users know about the issue, but make sure they don't miss it. When creating a new workbook, filter the data assets by those with or without the presence of a data quality warning. Be informed about the status of the data you're connecting to. Server management add-on. We've added two new views to give you better insight into the health of your Tableau server deployment. The new backgrounder view gives you additional insight into backgrounder load, how long jobs run for, and events like failures, cancellations, and completions. Our new stale content view helps you identify unused content based on your customizable parameters that you can establish for your Tableau server. Hot configuration. Now many common TSM commands can be implemented without having to restart Tableau server. Hot config commands are clearly identified in the command line when you are making changes. Tableau Server Installation PreCheck To ensure a smooth installation and upgrade experience, Tableau Server now automatically performs a set of checks as you start the initialization or upgrade process. These checks are designed to detect common errors and issues with permissions, credentials, base ports, etc. that can arise during upgrade and install. You can also perform this check at any time with a TSM command. Today, this capability is for Windows, but we are working to bring it to Linux soon. You can now install the resource monitoring tool agents on top of your Linux-based Tableau server deployment, giving you enhanced visibility in the performance of your Tableau server processes and underlying hardware. We're also working on a Linux-based resource monitoring tool host for an upcoming release. Thank you for your time today and for learning about Tableau 2020.2. For additional resources, please see the links below. Thank you and have a great day.